controversy over P1's round of 16 resolved, we get our first look at the lineup for Norwalk Havoc and the truth about the upper deck, all this week in Robot Combat. 3, 2, 1, activate! Hello and welcome to the show. We start off by taking a look at this week's BattleBots controversy. P1, coming off a win against Hypershock, had suddenly decided to drop out of the top 16. The team's Facebook page is giving very few details, apart from the team having misplaced some critical components. Builders are suspecting foul play, with Team Scorpios releasing this damning image. But that could be anybody, and there's no proof of any wrongdoing. So we'll put this down to an unfortunate error on the team and move on. Now we look at the bracket. Sorry, I haven't got any images for all the fights this week. Newly back Hypershock looks to back it up against Sawblaze in a battle of speed versus versatility. Is my bracket saved? Jackpot takes on Blip as the hometown hero gambles for a deep bracket run. Will it survive being thrown against the box or just flop? It's all in a name with Matt Maxim and Matty Vasquez competing to be the superior Matt as Cobalt vs Whiplash looks to be a driver's fight for the ages. Hanks takes the stage as two robots built to survive Tombstone try to send each other to an early grave in Rotator vs Tantrum. And that's all that we're going to cover here. For more of the brackets, thoughts, and feelings on this episode, you can check out the Robocast on Sam Elliott 64's YouTube channel. With this week's special guest, Will Bales, we'll be talking his surprise return and what I'm getting from the new Hypershock hidden merch store. Norwalk has shocked the robot community by announcing its lineup early. Confirmed to be competing for the next golden bin are... Marching Band Omelette Snare Hand Whisk Beat It Over Easy And my new robot, OC Do Not Steal, which we'll be building live on this channel in the coming weeks. And of course, Jameson Go's newest variant of Silent Spring, Quiet Chicken. It's a very unique and exciting field, I cannot wait to compete in it. Robot Wars reboot competitor Frostbite is back! Mostly. As yet another high profile team pulls a Frostbite and tests in the most dangerous manner that they can seemingly devise. While this could have led to serious injury or death, the team states that everything is fine. The robot was placed in some pudding, so it was unable to move, and all in attendance had engaged their safety squints at the closest distance to the weapon. Personally, I think it's just good that the off-forgot frostbite is back in the community's consciousness. And finally, the upper deck. The newest addition to the BattleBots has been shrouded in mystery all season, but no more! A recent leak from someone high up in production claims its origins are not what we expected. Aliens! are said to be the ones behind this latest development. The leaker claims that this is the only logical way, as the upper deck is far too large and complex for mere humans to have constructed. The leaker wished to remain anonymous, but stated that Fatakafalafa and Ford have been involved in production of BattleBots for a while now, and are quite proud of how the upper deck has improved the meta. And that's just about all for this time. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like, do subscribe to the channel, and do be sure to check out the World of Woodrow Facebook page to keep up to date with all the latest news. Be sure to check out the World of Woodrow Discord, where you can get your fan submissions in, and do be sure to check out the World of Woodrow Patreon, where you can help me help the builders shower me in merch. And do be sure to check out the World of Woodrow TikTok, where you can watch me rusty dance for 24 hours straight. And do be sure to check out the World of Woodrow Twitch stream, where I speedrun Minecraft in a hot tub. And do be sure to check out the World of Woodrow Twitter to help me get BattleBots trending for celebrities. And do be sure to check out the World of Woodrow Tumblr where you can read all of my best BattleBots fanfiction. Until next time, farewell.